others willing to work. Been there, done that. When strong members lose their source of strength, yet consider, consider this. When we lose our source of strength, consider this. Long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. Long said, you're not going to get it, church, being home. You're not going to get it trying to get into your own head. You to, 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 to be spiritual, you got to come out of yourself. Amen. Come on, bro. You got to put this in it. Amen. Amen. And then live. Amen. That's the spiritual. You, you, the law that the, the remember the long suffering, the fruits of the spirit is what? Love, peace, joy, long suffering. First Peter says, add to your faith. Add to your faith. Church will add to your faith. You should never get tired. Guess when you should stop wanting to grow? When God says, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Amen. Long suffering is a gift from God. Become, becoming disheartened can be an indication that the strong are in trouble. When we lose heart, it can be an indication that the strong are in trouble. Because God's strength is unlimited. God's strength is unlimited. Ephesians 3 and 20. The Bible reads, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all we ask, uh -huh. beyond, beyond all we ask or think according to the power that works within us. Because God's strength, we shouldn't get this heart in God. This is, your power is coming from God. Amen. We may be depending on our own strength, not looking to the Lord for strength. He provides. Ephesians 6 and 10. Through 13, the Bible says, When your hands are cold, you can't turn the pages. <laughs> Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the, in the strength, your Bible might say power, and the strength of His might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand, against, stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For, you, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness, wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God right. so that you will be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, the whole arm. Y'all know what the arm is. See, we come out the house naked. Mm -hmm. Come on. And we need to pray. We need to become praying in the, from the pulpit to the back door to the sides of the wall. We need to become praying. If you want to see growth, start your day off praying. Start your day off in, in God's power, with God's strength. Put on the arm, whole arm of God. The blessed pray, 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 plate of righteousness. Amen. Feet shod with the gospel. The helmet of salvation. Y'all football players. You pat it, you pat it all up, get it up. The underarm. Amen. Come on now. Come on. And, and that underarm looks good on y'all football player too, making you look stronger than what you are. <laughs> we may forget the joy of serving for the Lord's sake alone, even if others don't appreciate it. Yes, sir. The joy of eating cake, even when there's no icing. That's right. We must not lose our perspective. That's right. That's right. There will always be the weak. Dealing with the weak is good training for shepherds and teachers. Amen. Amen. Dealing with the weak. Dealing with coming out of yourself. Amen. Not thinking so highly of yourself. Amen. Understand that God has his place. It is a good, it's a good uh, training tool for, for shepherds and teachers. Amen. If strong members become weak, a church cannot grow. Amen. Amen. Church, in, con in conclusion, we have considered two principles of growth. Each part must do a share, and the strong must spare the weak. Amen. We have seen that church growth is enhanced when each part does a share. 
growth is in danger when members don't do their part. Growth is enhanced when the strong bear whip the weak. Amen. Growth is endangered when the strong themselves become weary. May we consider what we all need to be doing to help the Norris Church. Yeah. As we get ready to move to Frankfurt and Bellingham, the Bible says the church did the uh, Jesus, Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, universal, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. We are the local, con we, are, we are the Norris Church working through the local congregation. Amen. Now it's our time to grow, Amen. To, be, to, to get ready to grow. May we consider Come on. what we will need to be doing to help the Norris Church to grow. We need to fulfill our function in the body of Christ. Amen. We need to do our share of, in, of the work of the church. We yes. need to do our share. We're going to be coming out with some, with a, uh, Brother Bill was going to be running off some sheets. We're going to be at, asking on these sheets what you can do to participate us in, our, in facilitating our moving. We're going to have to have committed. We're going to have to have people, have people decorate. We're going to have to have people cleaning up. We're going to have to have that people that help us move in. All this is going to be done. We're going to have to start handing out, uh, handing out surveys to see who can do what. Because everybody yeah. needs to work in the church. We need to grow as we should in the service of the Lord. We need to bear, the, bear with the infirmities of the weak. We need to look to the Lord for strength to become, to avoid becoming. Dishearten. In conclusion, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, Paul says, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, Paul says, Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your late toil is not in vain in the Lord. This morning, you've heard the gospel. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, of God. Then you must believe. The Bible tells the Hebrew writer wrote, but without, without faith is impossible to please God. For, for he that comes to God must believe that he is and he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. Then you must Repent. Luke writes, I tell you nay, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Then you have to confess. See, God doesn't just want, want, uh, want lip service. He wants you to confess Jesus before man. That's what we should, we should be walking around as undercover. Christians are undercover with the disciples. If you want to follow Jesus, you must confess Jesus before man. Jesus says, if you confess me before man, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. But if you deny me before man, I will deny you before my Father in heaven. Then, if you really want to be a working member of the Lord's church, you must be baptized. Matthew 16, 15 and 16 says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be dead. Once you're baptized, you will, have some, you will be baptized for remission of sins, and Christ will add you to the church. If you're a member, if most of us are members of the church, this is your time to come forward and recommit, revalidate, re, re, revalue your commitment to Christ. And so, so you can do a better job if you're falling short, if you, if, if, you, if you have to make a confession for some approach you want in front of the church. This is the time to do it as we stand, as we sing the hymn of limitation.